T'as pas roulé les prix sont morts. Pourquoi Mais si, c'était enregistré. Tout est, tout est enregistré. Ok, so we continue. Uh, so the second branch. Deuxième branche. Uh, Noise orchestra et noise music. In Donc, les orchestres uh, bruitistes et la musique bruitiste. Dans les premiers films uh, sonores, le cinéma sonore. Well, as uh, one of the film critics, uh, Alexander Andrievsky, uh, critique de cinéma Alexander Andrievsky, noted, noted in uh, 1931, the uh, Soviet uh, filmmakers uh, had a very much interest in the noise as the main material of uh, the music. The musical uh, soviétique avait un uh, grand intérêt pour le bruit en tant que source. Well, uh, Western uh, filmmakers were fo more focused on music. Alors que les réalisateurs euh, so, de, de l'Ouest étaient plus focalisés uh, sur la musique. Uh, movies, sound movies was very, sur les premiers uh, donc, film, films de cinéma sonore soviétiques. Uh, uh, donc, il était très typique pour utiliser euh, du bruit organisé. It was uh, even more important, uh, aesthetically, because it, uh, the idea of uh, earlier film directors involved in sound cinema. Donc les premiers uh, réalisateurs impliqués dans le cinéma sonore. Was uh, never use soundtrack as a, a, a synchronous parallel, parallel to uh, imagery. Ils n'utilisaient pas les pistes sonores comme euh, pistes synchrone, synchronisées en parallèle à l'image. Juste euh, précision, cinéma sonore c'est un peu entre le muet et le parlant. Il n'y a pas uh, encore la parole mais il y a déjà la sonorisation. Euh, Such well-known filmmakers as Sergei Eisenstein, Vsevolod Pudovkin and uh, Grigory Alexandrov. Pudovkin, Alexandrov. They declared in 1928, uh, their approach to sound on film based on uh, counterpoint method. Counterpoint. On utilisait la technique de son sur film en utilisant la technique counterpoint and injury. Donc, euh, parler de sans image. So if, uh, for instance, human, uh, a character speaks, si une personne it parle, doesn't mean that the soundtrack should be exactly his uh, speech. Ça ne veut pas dire que la bande son devrait être vraiment la parole. And the uh, imagery should be somehow in contradiction. La piste sonore et la bande son devrait, et l'image devraient même être parfois en contradiction. Sometimes coming to uh, common synchrones. Parfois synchrones. Some, sometimes uh, getting again this kind, kind of uh, struggle. Sometimes, uh, parfois, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, arrivant à faire un conflit uh, entre le, le, le son et l'image. So it means that uh, very early sound movies uh, had a very, very special soundtracks. Donc les, les premiers films de cinéma sonore avec, avec une, une which, bande son which spécifique. Which were, were absolutely self-sufficient. Donc qui étaient en soi euh, indépendantes. Moreover, uh, early sound movies... Uh, et aussi les premiers... Euh, In early sound, sound movies, uh, it was a problem that uh, it was not possible in many cases to shoot film with sound at once. Mais le problème était qu'on pouvait pas tourner les films en prenant le son en même temps. So uh, first, uh, film director produced uh, silent movie. D'abord, on produisait le film muet. And then, in studio, uh, they produce uh, the soundtrack. Et donc, en studio, on produisait la bande son. Which uh, sometimes synchronized, sometimes out of synchronicity. Uh, and this counterpointal method somehow become, becomes uh, not only uh, like part of the, their philosophy, but also part of necessity. Pas seulement une philosophie, mais une nécessité. Arsenia Avram was already mentioned with his film Donc, Abram, uh, Tiriot Kaplan uh, Vigitabot. Not his film, film uh, by uh, Abram, uh, film by uh, Abram Rome. Donc, un film d'Abram Rome avec une piste sonore d'Arsenia Avram. And the soundtrack of Arsenia Avram. And uh, Abram Rome especially mentioned that in case of this film, they were much more interested in acoustical properties of sounds and soundtracks rather Donc, than uh, music, music or documentary. Donc il est plutôt intéressé par les qualités et les propriétés euh, sonores que euh, l'aspect documentaire. Avramov was very much interested in synthesis. Donc Avramov était évidemment très intéressé par la synthèse. He refused to use uh, sounds like uh, field recordings. Il refusait d'utiliser par exemple documents. les enregistrements en plein air, le field recording. 
Дига Вертов. Дига Вертов, да. Он был в позиции у Абрамов. Он был в позиции у Абрамов. Его approach was to use uh, exactly documents. Donc lui était d'une approche d'utiliser des documents exacts, le son comme document. So uh, if Abramov did this uh, experimental film uh, Pizzoletta in 1929, okay, uh, Dika Vertov started in 1929 to uh, work on, on uh, the film Enthusiasm. Donc Vertov a commencé en 29 à travailler sur le film Enthusiasm. Oh, the Symphony of Donbass, la symphonie de Donbass uh, which was de Donbass. based mainly on uh, noises which were collected by uh, Vertov uh, by means of uh, uh, special uh, uh, mobile uh, recording system avec un système d'enregistrement mobile which was built for him uh, by inventor Alexander Shorin. Donc il avait été uh, construit pour lui par Alexander Shorin. Uh, You can uh, listen to the soundtrack of uh, Enthusiasm, or a short piece of uh, the soundtrack uh, la de, in the exhibition, so I don't want to play it now. Uh, I just want to mention two more uh, characters, which are Deux absolutely unknown. Uh, assez important. Uh, everybody knows Dick Vertov. Tout monde connaît He's a famous. Uh, many people know of Arsenio Abramov. Abramov aussi est connu. Almost nobody know now even in Russia composer uh, Nikolai Krukov. Personne ne en Russie, même en Russie, ne connaît les compositeurs Nikolai Krukov. And uh, the, geni the genius, the genius of noise. Et le génie uh, du, du bruit. The actor and uh, inventor. L'acteur et inventeur Vladimir, Vladimir Popov. Popov. Uh, Popov uh, he was uh, a very good actor. Donc, Working in uh, at, at Mhat Theater, oh, Moscow uh, Academic um, uh, Theater, one of the main theaters of, Soviet, of, of Russia and Soviet Russia. And uh, um, Popov, uh, in middle twenties, uh, became very much interested in uh, the way how to organize ways how to organize noise. Popov est devenu très intéressé dans le milieu des années 20 sur la manière de organiser le bruit. Uh, mainly uh, in the context of uh, theater. Essentiellement dans le contexte du théâtre. He was not only acting but also uh, playing with a noise orchestra. Uh, il ne pas que jouer, il, est, uh, il jouait des orchestres bruitistes pendant les performances. Creating de all sorts of uh, noises for theater. Créant uh, donc euh, toutes sortes de bruits pour, uh, pour les pièces. And uh, when sound on film technology was developed, Quand la technologie de son sur film a été développée, it was uh, Popov who became the main technologist of uh, noise, uh, absolute guru of noise uh, for the most uh, uh, um, theater directors and uh, sound technicians, if you can say about them as sound technicians in the uh, late 20s. Uh, but uh, the uh, sound and film technology was used Cette in parallel. The technology of sound film was used in parallel. In early films and in radio theater. So in the first films and in the theater of the And Popov, in, in both cases, was the main figure to produce uh, soundscapes. Popov was the person central to produce the soundscapes. Soundscapes. Now we call them soundscapes. Now we call them soundscapes. Popov uh, called uh, these compositions. Uh, noise symphonies. Lui, il appelait ça des symphonies euh, symphony like, uh, many sounds uh, coexisting. Donc avec plus, plusieurs euh, sons coexistants. Uh, and his symphonies were like a symphony of the city. Donc c'était des symphonies de, de during la ville, day, during the la journée, durant la nuit. Traffic, le trafic, nature. Euh, voiture, He could nature. synthesize all sorts of uh, natural sounds. Il uh, combinait many, toutes sortes de sons naturels. Writings, manuscripts by his colleagues uh, when they uh, 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 note that uh, how many absolutely different and very, very uh, small variations of different states of sound he could create. Collectait toutes sortes de variations des fois d'un film de son. That's him. That's him uh, in 1928. Donc c'est lui en 28. The only do film document uh, existing. C'est le seul document that time. filmé qu'on qu a de lui. Actually, very, very uh, modern view. You see, in 1928, the person in headphones, since he lives in headphones, 
It's just before the uh, emphatical performance. And that's him later in so uh, late 30s, uh, 40s with some uh, of his uh, noise machines. The Trans début des années 40 avec ses machines à bruit. The collection of his machines, some some uh, examples from machines, uh, his book because he published a book a and he was a teaching uh, sound designers in, a, in Moscow. Des cours aux designers aux and that's how uh, his noise machines are working. Uh, you can uh, Donc, uh, see uh, some of his uh, documentary in the exhibition actually. On a uh, document aussi dans it's a reconstruction of his instruments, which was produced by uh, my colleagues. Uh, Peter I do in Moscow and uh, la reconstruction des instruments de Popov aujourd'hui par son collègue Peter Andrei. I do and uh, uh, Konstantin Dudakov uh, just now so this exposition uh, finished in September cette exposition vient de s'achever en septembre dernier 70 70 uh, 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 Vladimir Popov machines de 70 ou 70 70 machines de Popov and each machine was available, so people could play on all. Each machine was utilized by the public, so everyone could play on all. So that's the uh, very short abstracts from the exhibition. So that's a video of the exhibition. Just, uh, you saw just a few, few instruments, actually, so, uh, among uh, them, among, among uh, the dozens, dozens of different machines. Dizaine, dizaine machines. And uh, each uh, no, uh, noise symphony normally was programmed for the big uh, group of uh, performers. <coughs> like here, you see the score, the score of a train passing by. So, in this score, you see here, uh, like musicians playing like... Here, this big drum, which is a very low noise Check, uh, of coming uh, from the big sound. distance uh, train. Uh, this before it produced very natural uh, steam sound, sound of steam. Of Donc, this is very natural, the vapor, the train. 
some metal parts because uh, wagons, uh, cars, Donc, les, les bruits de métal puisque les wagons uh, metal sounds. Uh, and actually here you see only uh, seven, yeah, seven, seven performers, actually much more. Donc ici, là, on a sept, uh, uh, in some of the manuscripts I found that uh, they used up to 30 or even more Here the group of uh, Vladimir Popov's uh, musicians playing the score, score, score of train passing by. Jouant donc là le, la partition d'un train qui passe. Of metal. Uh, de metal. Here this, uh, this one I even don't recognize. Was that so? I mean that it's a whole uh, orchestra, the whole orchestra. Uh, some results. Now, Donc, just a uh, very brief uh, example. Abstracts, which I know actually uh, it's a part, part of soundtrack of the film, but I found out that in many cases it's film. much better sometimes to listen to soundtrack without any music. No, the sound symphony of the port. Donc, For instance, some uh, sounds of uh, trains. Uh, it's important that uh, all the sounds, it's not uh, synchronous to injury. It's just a kind of uh, mental state. So the impression of some situation. Because uh, here you hear trains, but in, in, in the film, no trains, just uh, some situation which needs this sort of sounds as a kind of uh, emotional uh, basis. Like the symphony of the world. We don't have a train, but we don't have a train image, but we have a need for this basis in the context of the film. Here, 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 In many, in many cases, uh, composers like Nikolai Brukov uh, used a very advanced uh, sound editing uh, techniques. Although, although it was almost uh, impossible, uh, because technology was very, very low. Like here, uh, they used reverse sounds. Which in 1932 was a kind of very advanced approach. Qui en donc en 32 de faire ça c'était déjà très très avancé. Sound symphony of the fight. Symphony of the art of combat. Cases, uh, music and noise were coexisting. Also, a kind, a kind of counterpoint. Mm -hmm. the musical layer, the noise layer. Mm -hmm. uh, Arsenia Avramov uh, uh, declared that he considered noise uh, as a uh, different way to organize sound. So, music uh, noise is not contra in contradiction with uh, common musical sounds. So uh, musical sounds are very easy organized sound. Noise is a very complicated, complicated organization of sound. So the music is in between. So between uh, chaos and uh, very, very easy organization. Entre le chaos et une organisation très imprécise. And perhaps uh, 
one of the most condensed uh, noise music des musiques euh, uh, bruitistes in, uh, les plus condensées in the film Isiachnaya Jizn, Nice Life dans le film euh, La Belle Vie 1933, one of the first en 1933, uh, sound movies un des premiers films de cinéma sonore music by Nikolai Krukov donc musique de Nikolai Krukov uh, and of course all noise technology by Vladimir Popov et donc toute la technologie euh, bruitiste de, de Popov Uh, the fact that a noise orchestra is involved it was so important that le in uh, titles of film, que le, dans le titre approxim du film appro approximately half of time uh, was dedicated to uh, noise orchestra, noise equipment, uh, the uh, sound recording technology. Donc, tous les crédits, euh, la moitié des crédits étaient dédiés à cette technologie-là. Krukov, uh, in, in this uh, film, wrote very common music and uh, noise music. And it's very interesting somehow to find this uh, counterpoint in many places. La musique, quand elle fait composer la musique très commune et, et en même temps, même musique uh, Now, let's, like, very briefly, just uh, by some points, uh, uh, watch this film. Non, regardez, euh, on va regarder tout le film, mais quelques, quelques exemples dans, dans ce film. The story about British sailor. C'était l'histoire d'un marin britannique. Uh, British sailor who came to Soviet Russia. Qui va en Russie soviétique. Occasionally, first to, to walk on a Russian ship. Pour travailler sur un bateau russe. Then he became uh, the worker on uh, Dnieprostroy. Dnieprostroy, that's the name of the construction of the electric plant. Donc il se retrouve à travailler sur la construction d'une centrale électrique. So everything starts from this uh, beautiful music, uh, which somehow uh, Ça commence avec une musique, uh, uh, reminds from point uh, of view of the author some western uh, qui est, en quelque sorte évoque une musique uh, music. occidentale. The main character, the sailor, Donc, le principal personnage. Person so he is in fight with his uh, Uh, chiefs on the uh, yeah, British ship, voilà, and he comes uh, uh, to the port and finally gets a new job. Et donc vient sur port et trouve un nouveau, euh, un nouvel emploi. And he comes to Russian ship. Donc il vient sur le bateau russe. Il uh, uh, has met the captain. Il n'espère pas des relations avec le capitaine. Il espérait quelque chose de différent. Il imaginait autre chose. Mais le capitaine est très friendly. Maintenant, vous allez sur le bateau soviétique. Donc maintenant, la nouvelle vie sur le bateau euh, soviétique. Okay. Uh, 
Next, uh, a friend and uh, one of his uh, friends from the ship go to the Ses amis sur le bateau. Uh, city uh, uh, for kind of vacation for two hours. Pour une vacation de deux heures. Uh, And he came to um, uh, the city exactly in the moment of the rehearsal of air forces attack. C'est juste le moment de de, de répétition de, de contre enfin de ouais, d'attaque de, de forces aériennes. Mistakes in translation because uh, that was Google Google translation, yes. Translate, I couldn't translate it. That's the uh, uh, expression by uh, Stalin. <laughs> finally, finally, uh, uh, they were late. The ship disappeared. And Fred lost his job. So now, now he is uh, unemployment. Uh, and he has to spend the night in the park. and very uh, like beautiful music, uh, no noise, but theremin. It's one of the first uh, movies in uh, which uh, the electronic music, music uh, 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 instruments were involved. So the theremin plays uh, the solo part. So it's one of the first films where the theremin is used for the band song. The thief. But Marussia. Mais Marussia. Mais Marussia. Marussia. Mais Marussia. Mais Marussia ne dort jamais. Ok. Uh, so finally, they became friends. Uh, and uh, Fred uh, comes, uh, finds job on uh, this uh, big construction of. Uh, Electric plant. Donc, il trouve un travail sur, une construction, then, sur cette construction uh, de centrale électrique. Noise soundtrack comes. La, 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 la plus belle uh, composition uh, oh. boîtiste uh, sont là. So, the symphony of the office. La symphonie du bureau. No, of course, no, no uh, type machines, just this uh, state of office. And it's very important because this uh, type machine is a kind of uh, a musical fan. Then you will find the same fan in uh, symphony structures, in special noises. So this rhythm comes many times in absolutely different uh, 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 ways. Devient en fait un thème qui revient, qui représente uh, uh, le, le, la bureaucratie ou le bureau. Thank you. 
тебе не догнать, товарищ. Le Kali produit un son de l'électricité. Listen to all of, all of it, but uh, actually, uh, then uh, she comes to the area where explosions. explosions. In a little while, uh, some uh, emergency situation occurs. Quelque peu après, une situation d'urgence se présente. Ok. Uh, let's cut it. But here, here you see again, when uh, the emergency uh, is over, uh, the state of this uh, electric plant and again, uh, some kind of soft and uh, uh, a situation without emergency. So, and again, sounds of harmonious. Here you will hear theremin and some uh, electronic harmonious. So, more electronic sounds. Si the the theremin and the harmonium. Finally, finally, um, there were even more uh, complicated situations with Fred, but finally, finally, he came back to Marussia, 
Euh, et des Cumberbatch. Une situation compliquée, mais à la fin, il revient voir Marussia. Uh, actually, the film, uh, one uh, and a half hour, and approximately two thirds of the soundtracks are noise uh, music. Le film dure une heure et demie, et deux de tiers sont la, donc, la musique poétiste. And to finalize, perhaps uh, even more uh, finir, uh, interesting uh, movie, Delight in People and Affairs. Et les gens, les the first affaires. sound film which was uh, produced by uh, main Moscow uh, film company, Mosfilm. Le film de cinéma sonore produit par la compagnie Mosfilm. Uh, Michael Rome, uh, at that time, he was assistant of uh, Alexandre Mocheriat, the uh, film director. Yeah, Michael Rome, Rome était l'assistant du réalisateur. Then he became a very important Soviet film director. Et But ensuite, il devient un uh, He uh, wrote article in which he explains how they created sound for this film. Il a écrit un article pour expliquer comment ils avaient créé le son pour ce film. Even for, for the whole lecture, to, to, to tell the whole story, because it was extremely, extremely interesting and very complicated work. Uh, they didn't have any possibilities to uh, make uh, uh, serious mixing or even uh, editing, make montage. But... Du uh, mixage, du montage, uh, complexe. But they did it. Mais ils l'ont fait. So they um, created very special scores. Créer des partitions spécifiques. We didn't find them yet. On les a pas encore retrouvés. Hopefully we will. On espère les retrouver. In which they had a kind of time code. Donc avec dans lequel il y avait une sorte de time code. Synchronizing imagery and uh, the rhythm of a soundtrack. Qui synchronisait l'image et le rythme de la bande son. And in this film they use a symphony orchestra. Donc ce film il utilise orchestra. un orchestre symphonique et un orchestre bruitiste. And a sort of a very very smooth. Uh, Um, morphing or uh, mutation, like Donc, symphony orchestra comes into noise. Entre, uh, de, noise comes bruit, into symphony sound. Et le, le bruit, le bruit, le Some machines symphonique. well synchronized with the uh, machines in the imagery. Donc, mais certaines machines uh, très bien synchronisées avec les machines dans, le, dans le film, score. dans l'image. Uh, and the story is about America coming to Russia uh, to help Russians to build. Again, this Dnieprogress. <laughs> the same thing. C'est un Américain qui vient en Russie pour aider les Russes à construire de manière plus productive. It was a very popular idea in the 20s that uh, Soviets should take American approach to uh, work, American precision. Une des popularités que dans les années 20, les Russes devaient prendre la précision de euh, la manière américaine de travailler. Uh, to multiply it by Russian revolutionary energy. Pour le démultiplier par la réévaluation révolutionnaire. Pour créer le réveil. That, that was a very popular idea. It absolutely unpopular in the 30s. In the 30s, Americans were enemies. Très populaire dans les années 20, mais dans les années 30, les Américains étaient devenus des ennemis. From point of view of the state. So, just very briefly. Again, titles. A lot of information about noise stuff. Dans le générique, il y a énormément d'informations sur l'orchestration et un très bon Térémine, la composition de Térémine. Almost all films with music by Nikolai Krukov involve Térémine. La plupart des musiques de films de Nikolai Krukov impliquent Térémine. This actually, this film is absolutely unknown because it was never broadcasted. So I show you a kind of illegal. Ce film est inconnu parce qu'il n'a jamais été diffusé. C'est un peu illégal. Show, so I think it's okay. American is coming. American is coming to help American worker. Travailleur américain ou bien. He's in the train, and train is one of the main themes of the film. Le train est le thème principal dans le film. It's, it's not uh, the train as a like physical train. It's a kind of metaphor. Voilà, le train pas seulement physique, mais vraiment un métaphore du mouvement vers l'avant. Métaphorique. Very beautiful uh, work with acoustics. Because you hear this sound of a uh, train. 
Then he will open the window and the acoustics changes. So here he approaching, he's approaching the border of Soviet Russia. The whole, the whole very sophisticated. Some mistakes uh, with uh, working with image. He looks at the opposite side, but it's okay. The Okay, so finally he arrived. He comes to the construction. Il arrive et vient sur le site de construction. Donc là on a une échelle nord de construction. He needs Soviet workers. And he found out that the Soviet workers are absolutely not skilled in uh, their profession. And uh, they started competition. They started competition. The Soviet workers are not formed in the work they are going to do. Thank you. So from the very beginning, so um, these machines were, were considered by Americans as music box because they were in very bad condition. And next, you will hear this part where symphony orchestra and noise orchestra are totally synchronized and they like merge each other into each other. But at the same time, just, uh, I recommend to notice that they use phonogram. So they uh, pre recorded orchestra, then uh, they uh, speed up the uh, uh, reproduction of this phonogram. So they use uh, all uh, approaches of music concrete somehow. So they use the phonograph, they register, and then they accelerate the sound. Faster phonogram with a slower phonogram. So they structure the whole process. Jouant lentement et qui sont aussi les principes de base de la musique euh, concrète. Thank you. 
American one. But uh, this worker, Zakharov, well, he never gave up. So finally, after heavy drinking, uh, he found out that it doesn't help. And he went uh, to special courses. So, again, a lot of, a lot of uh, sound metaphors. And uh, perhaps uh, we will uh, finish with this uh, video. Uh, it's a part when um, kind of metaphor again. So uh, he si, y a and the group of uh, workers, uh, they are in the class. Qui sont en cours. And this class is like a train. So it's in the motion, so everything is like that. And uh, the wind and coming and uh, they're moving forward to the and it's a uh, very interesting uh, organization of uh, noise. It's Donc a kind of uh, very rhythmic bruit, structure, uh, which is following the process of getting knowledge. So each new idea, for instance, they found out how the uh, steam works in the um, engine. And this Donc engine euh, starts to work, and steam starts to uh, la, produce la, la, sound. La so the whole uh, process le... comes to some climax point. Donc un, un the uh, text point itself. Qui... It's a sort of, uh, it's not really a rap, it's not a rap, but it's like a rap, because uh, the text is not information, it's a kind of um, uh, musical state of speech, and in some point, and it comes in a clean, clean point to station when the character, main character, finds finally, he understood everything. And he speaks uh, very, 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 very musique, fast, a like machine, a in a, like a presto, presto. And uh, then, after symphony orchestra comes, and everything uh, 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 comes to a very classical final. It's slightly cut, slightly cut. <laughs> Il a assimilé, alors le train ralentit, enfin, il ne trouve pas ses mots. Là, l'idée, ça y est.
So finally, finally, Zakharov uh, wins the competition, and uh, American is really happy uh, that it happens, and uh, that's the kind of happy end. Uh, no love stories actually during the whole film, but it's extremely funny and actually quite uh, really like <laughs> capturing, capturing and uh, very, very rhythmical. Uh, but unfortunately, unfortunately, by 1935, 36, approximately everything stops. So no more experiments in sound in films, uh, just a folk and symphony music, uh, no more noise orchestra. Uh, and that's the uh, illustration, a sketch uh, from the uh, magazine Soviet Music, Soviet Music magazine. Main, main, main magazine of uh, the Composers Union. Uh, uh, for, the okay, okay, uh, for the occasion of uh, uh, opera, Velika Dorsma, the great uh, friendship of composer Moradelli, uh, which was considered as absolutely uh, politically incorrect, only noise, bon comme okay, not so much noise in this music, but it was considered as a noisy and... Uh, 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 the poem, which is under this sketch, sounds like that. <coughs> Unfortunately, I have only English translation. The poem or yeah. But uh, actually, that's about. Uh, we can try to say it. A violin has no choice. <laughs> it is uh, replaced by dredger voice. So only machines replace all natural feelings and all natural uh, human uh, abilities uh, for to love, uh, to make poetry. I mean, it's all about that, and finally, it all comes to the sort of musical mass murder box. So all noise music, all uh, experimental music was considered as a mass murder. Toute uh, la musique bassiste, la musique expérimentale était considérée comme mass murder, un crime contre l'humanité. So this poem and this sketch and this uh, particular magazine, uh, this issue came uh, just after the. Uh, uh, meeting of Communist Party, which uh, then was followed by a meeting of uh, Composer Union. Like an all, all, all experiment, ex experimental activities were totally frozen. Mm -hmm. uh, Donc, uh, or, uh, 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 uh
and uh, even, even now it's still somehow in a kind of vacant form. Et même encore aujourd'hui, on est dans une forme euh, toujours un peu latente. Oui, oh, uh, that was kind of real, real, really final point. C'est vraiment le point final là, en cette année 48. Even INS synthesizer survived. Même si le synthétiseur INS a survécu. But uh, this uh, tradition was not developed. Further. Mais cette tradition n'a pas été développée. Tu vois. Of no happy end, but <laughs> perhaps hopefully, hopefully Derek will play his machine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's sort of again continuation of this tradition of graphical sound of experimental music. Uh, and many, many, many young musicians now in Moscow and Russia are also very much interested in history and in uh, beaucoup maintenant de, de jeunes musiciens qui sont intéressés par uh, cette histoire là et par uh, l'expérimentation. So I believe that tradition will, ne will never stop. <coughs> Maybe we go for question because we relate. Uh, Questions? Uh, was there uh, some correspondence between like, the Western and the Russian and uh, Not so much. Uh, I mean that uh, if you. There is no correspondence between the musicians and the Russians in the Russian domain. Okay, and uh, for instance, uh, of course, Russian musicians and artists knew about uh, Italian futurists. Par exemple, les musiciens russes connaissaient les futuristes italiens. But the uh, internal memory, the Italian art of noise, somehow was not considered by Russian musicians as 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 predecessors. Ils n'étaient pas considérés comme pour les musiciens comme étant leurs prédécesseurs. They knew, but actually, they they had completely different. Approaches, philosophical and aesthetic. Des approches philosophiques et esthétiques totalement différentes. Actually, Russian inventors were quite well informed. Les inventeurs russes étaient informés. For instance, about inventions of Oscar Fischer and Par exemple, les inventions d'Oscar Fischer. But again, again, this information came much later than they invented their own technologies. Mais c'est venu bien plus tard que quand ils avaient inventé leur propre technologie. Regarding Russian music. It seems, it seems, it seems that there were just no, no, uh, somehow no parallels. I mean, that, um, in the uh, middle thirties, somehow this ex information exchange somehow was not so good. And actually, all the experiments came from tens, twenties, uh, but originally Russian. Pierre Schaeffer or Nomad McLaren uh, recognizes as a legacy of uh, history. Uh, it's a sense of history or. You mean. Uh, and does this sense of history could uh, still uh, go out of Russia and meet people like uh, McLaren or Schaeffer? Or... You mean, did Schaeffer knew about uh, these experiments? Oui. Of course yes. not, because even Russians no, didn't know. <laughs> Because, because uh, <laughs> you know, all these movies, they could not even be broadcasted because it, it was already politically incorrect and it was quite out of uh, official policy. So uh, it seems that we are somehow lucky that we now that now we can uh, still find these movies. And we can. In the late thirties, it was absolutely all the stuff was disappeared. It was not and uh, the problem of information exchange with the Western countries was in language. The problem was also the question of the language. There were many articles in Russian about the Russian language. There were many articles about the Russian language. But uh, I know only four articles, like uh, one in French, one in German, I think, and two in English. There were only four articles, which were not so known as they understand. So and the West, Western people could not read Russian, and uh, so. So that Chaplin found out to yes, uh... Chaplin, uh, well, but that's about enthusiasm because enthusiasm was brought, uh, you know, the premier, the premier was uh, in uh, Paris. I mean, it was, uh, but not other films, not other films. It was possible in. Uh, 
like very early 30s, uh, but like in 31 it was 32, which is still possible, but was in 32, 33. <laughs> it was changing so fast. Uh, for me, it's just like a big question, how they could uh, get, make all these films in just a few years. C'est aussi la question, c'est comment ils ont pu faire tous ces films en juste deux, trois ans. No, because because uh, Chaplin he wrote about enthusiasm that. Uh, Chaplin a écrit pour le film enthousiaste. Zigavertov, he he considers Zigavertov as the best musician because he never heard such a good symphony as the symphony of Donbass. Professors should uh, listen to Dika Vertov and never complain. The conservative professors. Chaplin a écrit à propos de ce film. So I think finance is the last uh, in the uh, pushing forward machine. Um, is there some uh, still some followers that experimented yes, things yes. or people that use INS uh, in different ways? Or? Well, uh, INS was uh, available for musicians uh, since it's. Uh, the, uh, the problem again that after. Stalin's epoch, in uh, like Khrushchev, Brezhnev's epoch, I mean, during this, like, how to say, <laughs> the time when uh, of total deficiency, for instance, uh, there were also deficiency on um, clever people somehow, and uh, um, people with, uh, with unusual, unusual way of thinking. Because, uh, well, you know, that many millions, many millions of uh, Russian intellectuals were uh, shot uh, during uh, Stalin's repressions. Uh, so the, be the best, best intellectuals disappeared. And uh, even these instruments, like INS, were available. There were no musicians who really wanted to work with it. Même si l'ANS était à disposition, il n'y avait pas vraiment de musiciens qui voulaient travailler avec. Oui, c'est Mislav Krejci et quelques petits musiciens, comme Luther Timmy, qui étaient en train de travailler avec eux. Mais pas une nouvelle génération. Jamais les musiciens ne viennent pas jusqu'à approximately 1992, quand nous avons fondé le Thémin Centre. Parce que nous avons commencé à revivre cette culture. Et après ça, pas beaucoup, mais quelques jeunes compositeurs ont commencé à travailler Uh, work with the INS, and now it's quite popular. Yeah, you did. With the generation uh, yeah, 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 coming from the 90s, like younger people, 25, 30 years old now. Um, so they they know history somehow, and uh, they very uh, much involved in the idea to work with arms, Maybe maybe in different ways. Icon. So it happens not so often. <laughs> Still, still. <laughs> and how Tarkovsky came to, how come, come Tarkovsky came to use uh, INS or? Well, it was the only uh, electronic music studio at that time in Soviet Russia, in Moscow, where uh, <coughs> Mourzine, uh, based on Mourzine's INS synthesizer. And uh, Tarkovsky was working with uh, Rafa Artemiev. So they had a very, very good uh, create, creative duo. duo creative. And Artemiev uh, was one of the main composers working with INS. And INS, of course, is the perfect instrument to create uh, some kind of very, very strange uh, like ambience and uh, textures. Uh, which quite close to the aesthetics of uh, Tarkovsky.
There's only one woman. That's all is this story. Is she such great, or are there some others? Women? Women. Well, unfortunately, well, it's also kind of Russian problem. Not so much, so much women were involved, especially in musical avant-garde. Uh, yeah, Sofia Bagunina, uh, she did one piece, a very beautiful piece, uh, with INS synthesizer Elle, in uh, 1968. No more women composers uh, involved in uh, experimental electronic uh, music. No, before, before uh, uh, early 90s. Now well, now well. And of course, uh, in uh, the 30s, uh, Esfil Shuk, great, great uh, film director, and she was actually one of the first who involved feminine. What's her name again? Esfil Shub. Esfil Shub. So a realizer of films, really very talented, and who used the term of the Uh, yeah, Daphne or Oran or Derbyshire were some important carriers, but not connected to Russian research. Or I don't think that they knew about uh, all these experiments. Uh, uh, and of course, it, of course, it came much later because Daphne Oran was like late fifties, sixties. C'est venu aussi plus tard, c'est venu à la fin des années Although, of course, it's like extremely beautiful machine, Aranix and. Uh, for me, it reminds quite a lot uh, early 30s or middle 20s in yeah. Russia. I mean, uh, the Again, it's not, a question of, it's not a question of priorities, of course. Because for me, I mean, uh, so I mentioned this um, early experiments mainly because I'm, it's really important somehow to know and to follow this uh, story how actually so great culture was totally smashed, and um, well, how these relations between authoritarian, authoritarian state and uh, culture community could develop. A culture that was totally laminated by the state totalitaire. So it's also a travail historical. It's not just on the question of question of temporality and aesthetic of a period, but it's also a exhumé of a history. It's time we, we, we have to go. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much, Andrei. It's very nice for your question. Um, uh, fantastic story. Demain, uh, Andrei will be in the concert,